Hello guys and welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, welcome on my YouTube channel XD Unicorn and today we are going to see how to create a mobile version of this website that we have created together previously in one of my previous video. I will leave the link in the description. Um, and yeah, we made this awesome website with Elementor and WordPress, but now we need to create the mobile version. So the first thing is to edit this with Elementor. Great, let's check the, the, the desktop version and as you can see there is a lot of padding, a lot of you know, uh, strange uh, spacing. So we are going to try to fix this clicking on the responsive mode here on the left and I'm going to uh, check uh, as you can see the mobile version. Uh, everything looks a little bit broken here so we are going to see how to fix this. So the first thing is that looks like this section is actually overlapping the, the top section as you can see and I'm going to click this and advanced and margin, I will remove the margins and as you can see now it looks better because we had those margins um, set it in a negative value in a desktop version but now if I go on a desktop version, as you can see, nothing moved. Like if we change things on the mobile version, the desktop version will keep their paddings and anything. So let's go back to the mobile version. Here we need to uh, add some spacing. So I'm going to click um, on this section here. And again, on the margin, I will add some top margin. Maybe I will select percentage first so that, you know, uh, it's better. So in this case, I don't want to use uh, this, um, this menu type. I want to make it very simple. Um, so I'm going to click to, uh, on this little icon here and I'm going to remove the breakpoint and click on known. Uh, I'm going to click also in this column here and I'm going to advance and add some padding in percentage. And I'm going to click here. Cool, I'm going to unlock that and add something on the top and cool. So I'm going to edit the spacing of um, this menu here. So I'm going to click on the menu. I'm going on style, um, horizontal padding. Let me check. Okay, so we can fix it like this. Um, let me check if we have some space between. So we can change the space between two. Uh, yeah, so you can play with this option here. So I'm going to click again in this icon to be sure, I'm going to advance and on margin, I will unlock this and keep on pixel of course and left, I will go on a negative number. And as you can see now, we fixed the issue. Great, let me check the design. Cool. I will add some spacing anyway, anyway uh, on the top of this. Uh, by simply uh, adding some top margin like that and now our menu is like this so um, now we need to select this section here and change the spacing in the column so I'm going to edit this column here advanced percentage and I'm going to add some padding I will keep the six percentage um, so now we can actually go and fix a little bit of the spacing between uh, stuff. So uh, for example, um, I, f I feel that this text is too big, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going on style, click on this button, REM, and maybe make it a little bit smaller. Or we can even keep it bigger and maybe make this text smaller. So click the text style, typography, REM like that the line height let's increase it a little bit um, so i'm going to click on this um, section here and advanced uh, and margin i will click on here and bottom margin i can reduce it in a negative number like that let me check the design and looks better so i'm going back here and yeah so here we have our images um, I can add some padding to this column to make it similar to the one on the top. So advanced padding percentage. Let me add some padding here. And now it looks like the image on the top. So we have some spacing here. Great. 
I also want to add some spacing um, under these icons. So I'm going to click on the column here and unlock this. And on the bottom, I will add some spacing like that. So it's cleaner. Great. I'm going down. And as you can see, we have some space here that we don't want um, you know, to use. Uh, probably it's uh, because of the image. If I click on the image, I see that you know uh, there is this spacing here. So I'm going to advance. I'm going to try to remove some of those. And as you can see, the padding was the cause of that. Um, so I'm going to add a percentage here and make it six. Okay, or maybe five in this case. Let's keep it four. Uh, so it looks more like uh, the upper image. And then here, I'm going to click on this column here, advance, and I'm going to remove some of the padding uh, like that by clicking this. And I will click it again and add some padding manually, but be sure on percentage. So I will keep a 5%. Um, same thing here, click on this column, advanced, click on this. And as you can see, it does the same thing. I click on the column icon again to be sure I have this selected and percentage here. Click on this button here and let's increase the padding at 5%. We are going to hide this section um, on the mobile version and we are going to add you know, the carousel. So I'm going to first of all add my carousel. So I click on this, I click on here. And as you can see, I have a new section. If I click on the plus button, I'm going to add a carousel. So car, where is it? Image carousel was the first one. So I'm going to click on the image carousel. I am going to click on this plus button here and I'm going to add my images like that. Cool, I will keep the four images. I'll create a gallery and insert gallery. So now what I have to do is to change the image size. I will keep it on full. Great. Um, and I will remove those dots or if we can even keep them. Uh, there is some spacing, as you can see, um, and we're going to remove it by uh, going to advanced padding. Click on here. Zero. OK. Margin. Click on here. Zero. So looks like we are going to try it again because there is some. OK, so it looks like I didn't select the column. So sometimes just check you have the column selected. And right now uh, it's not taking you know any space. So now it looks great. But we need to hide this one because this one is the desktop version. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to advance, responsive, and let's hide this. So visibility, we're going to hide it on mobile. But this one, we need to hide it on a desktop version. So I'm going to click on this one, advanced and responsive, hide on desktop and hide on tablet. Cool. Now we can go and fix the rest. So we are going to click on this column here. Uh, again, advanced, we're going to remove uh, the padding and everything. Um, so I'm going to click again here and percentage selected. I'm going to add five. And same thing here, click on this column here, advanced, click on this to be sure you removed everything, click again and add five. So here the text is too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to click on the first one, style, typography, REM, and the size will be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to check the size. I will do it like that. I'm going to copy this, paste the style on the second one, Paste the style on the third one, fourth and fifth. Great. So I'm going to add also some padding because it doesn't look aligned to the top. So I'm going to click again on the column and I will try to add some padding. Oh, we are we was in pixel, that's why. So going on percentage, be sure you are in percentage and one, two, three, four, five. So now it looks the same, great. So we are doing the same thing here. Click on the column, advance, remove the space. Click on the percentage, re-click on this one, and let's add five. Great. Um, same thing, same exactly thing. So it's it's like, you know, you need to do the same thing every time. Um, and percentage, click on this, and then, you know, add the padding. Perfect. Great. 
So now we can also change this to be centered. So this column here, I'm going to click on this. Um, I'm going to horizontal align, center. It's not moving because actually we need to center the text. As you can see, the text is taking all the place. So I'm going to click on this text here and alignment center. So I'm going to, uh, in this case, uh, we need to click on here. And uh, in this case, horizontal align will work because actually the, the elements in it is not taking all the, um, all the horizontal space. So um, yeah, it looks cool. Uh, let me check. We should also add some padding on the bottom. So I usually click on this section and uh, advance and add some padding at the bottom. So just remove this button, click on this, sorry, and percentage and on the bottom, I will add some spacing. Let's put 10. Um, so now it looks very, very nice. Everything is vertical. Uh, we just need to check it um, to be sure that everything was set um, in the correct way. Probably this uh, column here, we can click on it and check if everything is okay. I will probably make a five of a padding because we made five padding to all the design. So it's, it's, um, it's better to make it same also on this one. So five, five, and five. So those are all little fixes that you can do uh, when you finished. So let's publish and let's update the page. So I'm going to check right now the page. So the desktop version is fixed, like nothing changed. Everything is uh, correctly, uh, you know, nothing broken. So now I'm going in the mobile version. Um, I'm going to update this to be sure everything is adapting. Great. So now we have uh, our logo, our little menu here that probably works as you can see. Um, we have, you know, um, some subtitle, title and everything, our icons. Uh, the images here, made with passion, check out my work. We have the slider, as you can see, really cool, right? And yeah, we don't have the other images because we hide it on the mobile version. So uh, now we have our um, description here, everything is fine, the, the form, and yeah. Uh, I just want to remember you guys that the form is an Elementor um, Pro uh, widget. So if you want to use another form, you can use like the contact form seven and uh, it worked pretty well too. And yeah, that's all. So let's check, you know, the links. So it works everything fine. Looks amazing on the mobile version, uh, the contact. So yeah, guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel to be always updated on new videos and see you in the new tutorial. And remember, if you want to download this template, just check the description. Bye.